This has been a very long video. <laughs> Time has come to the last batch. I have three ColourPop shadow um, palette. I did a sunset type of look on Instagram and honestly I think this is a very hyped dupe for um, Natasha Denona uh, sunset palette and I can understand the hype of that again. I freaking hate white eyeshadow palette packaging with like powdery shadow and you can see how messed up this one already is and ugh, I only use it like a couple times so I think this is a warm color dream here and look at all the sunset color I just love it can't wait to play with it this Rosa color right here oh my god like I every time I see all this shimmer shade I just like I have a moment right here my eyes go so I love this palette because it, it's really up my valley. I love roses. Um, this packaging definitely sucked me in. Um, and I think that for this palette, even though it's not as versatile as the other one, but three look is not gonna be a big problem. I think I love you that just came out. I look at this color arrangement and I'm like, what? What? Like, this two shades just threw me off. Like, I'm just like, but if I cover this two right here, I'm like, oh, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Like, like I, I have to cover it like this. I'm like, okay, that now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. Before I'm like, like out of balance here. But I think for this eyeshadow palette, it definitely can be practical to just ignore this two shade if that really throws you off. So this is all the color pop. Let's move on to the next one. <sighs> I realized I finished all the brand series and now I just have random palettes here and there. Sephora and Pantone Universe collab. First of all, this it just calls my soul because I look I look at this color I just think of summer I use this color to do a mermaid look and honestly it was awesome um, I have this piece of thing over here that tells me what shade it is but honestly I'm not a artist so I really I'm I mean I do makeup but I'm not like a legit painter I'm not on um, whatever to appreciate the color but oh my god this is my number one summer palette and if I wanted to go for a pastel um, summer look this is my jam right here and honestly even though it's how light and pastel these colors are and it's surprisingly easy to work with and I cannot wait to show you what I can do with this palette. This is the Smoky Sweated Eye Palette from Ciate and honestly you can see how beat up that is <laughs> and I definitely make a fair amount of use out of it and honestly I think this is a very comprehensive um, eyeshadow palette. It actually reminds me a little bit of the Master Palette by Mario um, and honestly I think the shade, the matte shade over here is really easy to work with. Shimmery shades always lovely um, and also I just really drawn into this olive deep green color here because this is so beautiful on my eyes. Cannot wait to show you guys. Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I don't have the matte um, version of it. Ugh, shock. I really don't work with matte shade a lot but I heard that was really good so I'm gonna put that on my Thanksgiving list to get it for myself. This is basically the same layout but everything's shimmer. So if you can see, see how beautiful the shimmer is. Um, and this three tone over here is not like shimmery, shimmery, like it's not glittery. This three tone is more pearly finish. And then um, you have this two shade here and this shade right here. This three shades are more glittery and all the other ones are just very shimmery. Um, I honestly love this eyeshadow palette and I'm so relieved they're not all matte so I cannot wait to show you how to play with this palette it's just as good as the matte one um, I don't care what other people say um, I love Cavendish um, formula this is the palette that I'm not so sure 
what to do with. And this is the It Cosmetic Naturally Pretty eyeshadow palette. I used this in my first impression video before and <sighs> this palette, honestly, I do not know what to do. Like Yeah, I don't know what to do. The problem with this formula is that everything blended away looking like one messy color. So I honestly don't really like this formula. And honestly, I'm just not about all my eyeshadow palettes. Just like the Tarlet eyeshadow palettes, I just couldn't couldn't figure out what to do with them, you know? Shimmers my life, and I don't know what to do without them. Bomb the nude palette. <laughs> oh my god, this is one of the fun palettes I have. Oh my god, it just fell out. Um, and oh my god, I just cannot. I, 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 any moment. This is so cute. You know how some people like take out the whole pinch to see what's underneath there because uh, some people think that they're like actually they're painting it down there that it's like finished the whole entire look. <laughs> Uh, to say. Anyway, um, for this palette, I honestly think this is too dark for me because it doesn't have enough light shade or medium shade for me to do transition with. Because all like half the palette from here on is basically all dark for me, and then all this shade right here. Um, I, you know, even though I love shimmer, but if you want me to come out a complete look with just this, it's gonna be a little strange. So I will make it work. But oh my god, I just love, I just love this packaging. Sassy, snoopy, stopping, standoffish, selfish, so chill. <laughs> I just love this. I only had one makeup forever. Um, Artist palette, Artist Shadow Palette 9, and I just live for the um, green and blue over here. And this palette, honestly, I was so scared. I was scared for my life when I decided to do a three look for eyeshadow palette challenge because I look at this, I'm like, what am I gonna do? Like, what? <laughs> So I have two Anastasia Beverly Hill um, eyeshadow palettes with me and this is the Master Palette by Mario and I feel like enough people talk about this and you already know this is gonna be awesome and honestly I think this this palette is so versatile it's very well loved as you can tell um, like the, the look I got today it's I, I use only this palette and I use this three shades over here. I use this shade, this shade, and this shade, and this shade too, and that one. I use all, everything over this side and to come up with this look right here. I heard that um, Mario named all his colors up after important woman in her his life and places he has been to. I'm not so sure, but I think this is a really good uh, palette by itself. This is the Anastasia Vivian Hill Modern Renaissance palette, and a lot of people rave about this palette, and I understand why. Um, this is such a unique palette with high quality. I really, really do love the pigmentation and blendability from this palette. I really love this fail, um, velvet kind of packaging. I really really love this. I haven't tried the subculture palette yet and I'm really scared because I heard a lot of horrifying um, comments about it so I'm still very hesitant to try that out. So this is the Smashbox Shape Matters palette. Very luxurious uh, palette uh, feeling right here because of this mirror right here. Hello tripod. The eyeshadow palette here um, I also have a very versatile feeling to it uh, because you, you can see there are darker shades here with plump black and dark deep browns transition shade here with um, slightly more pink and then this neutral shade and then this gray shade over here and then lighter shade up here so every um, I guess every column if you look at it this way but every column is one look um, and honestly I think this is a very well thought out palette just look at this side over here don't understand why um, makeup brands always come out this type of contour highlight shade because this is not universal at all whatsoever um, but it has a matte highlights and it has shimmer highlights and all of this over here contour shade brown shade and then brow kit over here basically you can only have this and you'll be done with your makeup but where's my blush color y'all like where's my blush 
I want my blush color. This thing's so bulky. Oh my god. You should see how I store this. This is the Paris Makeup Palette by Sigma. Um, and honestly, I know I really don't see a lot of Sigma palettes, but um, just let's just give it a moment. Right? This is a random um, Urban Decay um, <laughs> makeup pencil in there. Um, so if you can look at that, like this is super dirty right now. I'm so sorry. I've been trying to play with this color. Um, I love the sh the blush shade down here. Um, this one, even though it looks a little purple tone, but when you use it on the cheek um, sparingly, it makes you look super healthy. Uh, this two shades right here is a classic blush shade, so I don't think I need to talk anymore about that. Um, all the shade up here is... I don't know how to say it without sounding mean, because... This is not very comprehensive or coherent eyeshadow palette wise. A lot of people will look at this and like, what am I gonna do with it? You know, like I can't come up with a full complete look with that. Not a lot of people can just live without matte. And honestly in here, there ain't no matte beside this teal shade right here. Yeah. This is the only matte shade, and you can't put this in your crease. You cannot put this as your transition color. So what am I gonna do with this without transition color? A lot of people may ask. I don't have problem with that. I can work with shimmer alone, but it's just not a very comprehensive palette. So a new sneak peek, and come back later. I featured this palette in one of my um, favorite video, and I just love this palette i just love it love it love it love it love it because look at all the shade in here it's the shade that i use all the time the pinky shades um the brownsy shade and this like this color has a little bit of like a green in there and it's super pretty and then I, you have the gold i just love it like this this is like this type of palette you could use for anything and I just love it I love it so much I did a tutorial on this I will link it below and please check it out because it's really really worth it match um, eyeshadow um, has its own reputation for a reason but I strongly recommend this bigger palette um, I really don't like the smaller palettes I like the bigger one so get this one instead or any kind of color range you feel like you're gonna use more this is from Dior Laura Mercy Child you can see how beloved this is um, this I should probably throw it away but I just don't um, okay let's be real here these two colors are the reason that I still have this palette I just cannot bring myself to throw this away because because, 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 um, I just, any other shade in here I can live with that, but these two are just, they're my soul, y'all, they're my it has soul. come to the last batch, and um, this is the most expensive eyeshadow palette I have hold in my um, collections right so far, and I do not think I will find eyeshadow palette that's more expensive than the eyeshadow palettes I have in my hands right now. So I'm going to start with something a little less crazy. Um, I'm gonna start with the two Marc Jacobs palettes that I have, this like little skinny one. I do not have the bigger one from the um, from the holiday collection because. I couldn't get my hand on it. I almost got it one time, but I but the person broke it before she even shipped it to me. So I'm like, Ugh. so anyway, so this is the Lover um, number two twenty, um, and as you can see, it's the pinky toned um, rose gold toned um, eyeshadow palettes. And um, honestly, I think Marc Jacobs. Um, eyeshadow palettes are good. Their formula are good. Are they? Are they like gonna drop my socks off? No. But why I like them is how travel friendly this is. Um, I remember I first got introduced to it by Tati, 
and she raved about this packaging and I could understand why because this is a very luxurious and also very very nice and it's very travel friendly you can just stick it into your purse and you take it out and you just like oh my eyeshadow palettes yes you know that kind of thing and I really like this little pouch here to keep the uh, surface shiny and all nice um, trust me expensive thing doesn't look so expensive anymore but after you got through some beating this is the Tease 202 um, and I have not get to use this one yet as much as the one I just held out and this one is the purple um, one and honestly I think purple is so hard to make and Marc Jacobs did a really really good job on this one VCRs I still don't understand VCR or VCR or how how I forget to pronounce it because I feel like I'm I butcher it every single time I say it. So this is the um, this VCR VCR um, eyeshadow palette and this is eighty dollars. <sighs> yeah, eighty dollars. I do not understand why. This is one of the most amazing eyeshadow formulas I have ever tried and this is number 5 Sultry Muse and this is all shimmer and honestly I heard that Visor, Visor, Visor um, has better matte than shimmer but this is also very very good already like honestly like like it's really really nice oh wow see so this I definitely do love and I think it's it's really good quality but do I recommend anyone that just started their collection to buy this no I would recommend to get the Sony Casio um, eyeshadow palette that looks just like this um, not the color selection but the packaging looks just like this and has all the mattes and neutral color that you need um, I think I don't regret buying this but Will I recommend someone else to get it? No. You, if you are a pro makeup artist, yes, get your hands on this. It's worth it. But otherwise, you cannot justify $80 for 12 eyeshadows. It's ridiculous. Well, I'm about to slap my face. The most expensive eyeshadow palettes I have, and I think anyone will have, is this right here. This is a 28 colors eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona. And this is the blue green um, eyeshadow palette. And I will have to tell you, Natasha Denona makes the best eyeshadow formula of this world. It's so, so, so good. A lot of people have already reviewed this, and a lot of people have already raved about this. And yeah, I spent $289 on one eyeshadow palette. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Donkulous. But do I regret it? No. Will I buy it again? No. <laughs> I probably will put it on the pedestal and worship it every day. This is the palette that inspired me to do the three look per palette uh, challenge because I look at this, I was like, how am I going to come up with three looks with just this palette? It will be a good question. Right, so I decided to do that with all the eyeshadow palettes I have. So this is the reason that inspired me to do that. I ha also have the green palette, and this is also two hundred eighty-nine dollars. Do I regret buying it? No. Will I buy it again? No, because I can't afford it again. You know, I can't. And I feel really sad that I didn't get my hands on the. Sun, star palette and the sunset palette before he went out but I heard sunset palette is coming back so watch me in that line into Sephora I'm gonna go get one so eyeshadow amazing price steak Natasha why 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 do I have to go broke just to get one of your eyeshadow palettes it ain't fair <sighs> all right calm down so here you go, this is all my eyeshadow palettes collections. I know no one needs many eyeshadow palettes and yes, your girl need help. Oh, 
she spent way too much on eyeshadow palettes. <clears throat> but, however, on the positive side, this is gonna be a really fun series. I cannot wait for this to be kicking off. So what I'm gonna do for the eyeshadow challenge, eyeshadow palette challenge, is going to be a one eyeshadow palette. I'm not going to use any other eyeshadow palettes, and I'm gonna create at least three looks from it. So some of them's gonna be easier, some of them are going to face harder. So I might ramp up the challenge a little bit to make it a little more fun. So for example, all the eyeshadow palettes from Morphe. If you cannot get at least three looks out of it, why did you get it? You know what I mean? So um, I cannot wait to get it kicking off. Um, I already start playing with one of the palettes and winner goes to whoever gets it. See you next time in my vanity then. Bye!